They're often considered a part of the family. Whether it's a cat or a dog, most pet owners don't want to imagine life without their four-legged friend. So what happens if they're diagnosed with a heart problem? Justin joins us, and the diagnosis isn't necessarily a grim one. No, it's not. And I, know I would think it would be. Uh, you would. Yeah. Actually, my little dog back in the day, she mm -hmm. was, was diagnosed with a heart problem, mm -hmm. and it was a grim yeah. kind of diagnosis. But, man, the pet medical field has made huge leaps and bounds when it comes to treating family pets. There's now specialized fields, even pet cardiologists. He seems like your typical rambunctious four-year-old boxer. Aussie is part of the family for Bethany and Don Kubski. So when Aussie started to randomly pass out, they knew he needed medical treatment. When he went down, you could tell he something was wrong immediately because he just wasn't himself and it was just heartbreaking. The Kubskis were referred to Midwest Veterinary Specialty Hospital. Here, Dr. Justin Thomason visits twice a month from Kansas State University. He's basically a cardiologist for pets. He diagnosed Aussie with a genetic heart muscle disease. Another common complication comes as pets get older. Most commonly, we deal with what we call acquired disorders, where we have animals that as they age, Usually it's going to be the valves. The valves of the heart just become degenerative. Schroeder is a 12-year-old rescue pup. His owner saved him from a puppy mill in Georgia. Today, Dr. Thomason is giving him a checkup. It's been amazing over the last, I'd say, 12 and a half years with him alone, just the different things that have become available that weren't available when I first adopted him. Thomason says most of the heart issues are addressed with oral medication, frequently the same meds used on humans. He believes in the next 10 years, vets will be able to do heart valve replacement surgeries. For dog owners like Wendy, there's no question she would do whatever it takes to save a companion. So I feel like for both my dogs who are both rescues, you know, we knew that they came from less than desirable start. And so we made a promise that if we were going to give them a new life, we were going to do whatever you know, was required to make sure they had the best quality of life they could. And Dr. Thomason makes the trip to Omaha once a month. He's here for two days. Just okay. clarification on that. And he normally sees about 12 patients during that time. And he says early detection is key so you can mm -hmm. kind of get that medicine going, right. help prevent yeah. that from happening. So, and it works for cats as well. Wow, huh. interesting. And because I think in the past, you know, it used to be if something went wrong with your pet, sadly, right. yeah. it was time to put them down. Right. Now there are so many options. There are a lot of options. And he says in the next 10 years, there's going to be even more options. Mm -hmm. All right.